Now we know how to solve equations. There's two that I want to talk about, an identity and a contradiction. They're just special cases. So if I have this, 5x minus 3 equals 5x minus 3. So now I solve the equation. I want all x's on one side, numbers on the other. So my x's cancel out. Hmm, over here my x's cancel out. So I get negative 3 equals negative 3. If that happens, all my x's canceled out. This is a true statement. This is called an identity. When I have negative 3 equals negative 3. That means it's a true statement. S can be anything. S could be minus 2. S could be 25. X could be mi minus 150. So, because X can be anything... The solution is all real numbers. So, when I have something equaling itself, I have an identity, and the solution is all real numbers. Let's say I have something like this. 2 times 3x minus 1 plus 2x equals 4 times 2x minus 5 plus 3. I solve my equation. Distributive property. I minus 2. Make sure you remember to multiply the 2 by the negative 1. My 2x state. Distributive property. 8x minus 20. Make sure you have 20 and not negative 5 plus 3. Combine like terms on the same side of the equal sign. So I have 8x minus 2 equals. They're not x's. I can combine my negative 20 and plus 3. And I get 8x minus 17. Now I solve the equation. All my x's on one side. Subtract 8x. Subtract 8x. They cancel out. I get negative 2 equals. My x's. I have negative 17. So this is a little different. All my x's canceled out, but now this is an impossible situation. Negative 2 does never equal negative 17. So if that happens, it's called a contradiction. It's an impossible situation. There is no solution. If I was talking about set theory, I could also say it's an empty set. We'll do two more. Let's say I have 3x plus 2 equals 3 times x minus 1 plus 5. My 3x plus 2 stays. Distributive property. 3x minus 3, I have plus 5. My 3x plus 2 stays. I can combine like terms. I get 3x plus 2. Solve the equation. Subtract 3x, subtract 3x. My x's cancel out. I get 2 equals, they go to 0, 2. So again, all my x's canceled out. If I have something equaling itself, it's called an identity. This means the solution is x can be all real, whoops, all real numbers. Last one. Let's have 6x minus 1 equals 2 times 3x minus 5 plus 1. I have 6x minus 1 equals 6x minus 10. Don't forget distributive property plus 1. I have 6x minus 1 equals 6x minus 9. I solve the equation. Subtract 6x, subtract 6x. I get minus 1 equals, they go to 0, minus 9. So now that's an impossible situation. When I have an impossible situation, it's called a contradiction. Contradiction is an impossible situation. That means there is no solution. 
And if I was talking about set theory, it would be an empty set. So that's it. When I have an impossible situation, it's a contradiction. The answer is no solution. Well, my x's cancel out and I have two equals two. That's true. That's an identity and the solution is all real numbers. That's it.